Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. We've been told there's a large force moving on this agricultural factory here. We've been asked to lend aid to the civilians here and try and get them to safety before the clan's completely over on this area. Alright, here we are. We're just going to move forward. Uh, we don't see any units in the surrounding area, but we're just going to push up a little bit just to make sure. Now, the loadouts for some of these mechs have changed slightly. So, the Griffin is now uh, not running SRM-6s, the Klein SRM-6s, but is running a pair of LRM-5s. I've readjusted the Kit Fox here slightly. You'll notice it's got an LRM-15 now, as well as an LRM-5. So we're up to our LRM-20, and we've maintained the ER Large Laser. And the SRM-6s have made their way, both in, both of them have made their way into the mislink. so we've kind of gone up in number of SRMs in the mislinks now. And then I think everything else has pretty much stayed the same. All right, uh, move the Cougar up this way. I read you, Commander. Now we're Coming able to out. field one additional vehicle now as well. Ten so I had to hire a new pilot, Wendigo. She's a um, a uh, Draconis Combine pilot. So I'm just saying that she's um, uh, one of the people that has come along with us. So this, she's just basically hired, f uh, brought up from our inner ranks. So now we've got uh, ability to field three vehicles, which is good. I think we're going to need it for it for this mission. Now this is a two skull escort mission against the clans. So I'm interested to see what we're going to be up against here. On my way. On your way. Double time. On my way. So my goal out of this one is to try and get as many uh, clan mech parts as I can. We do have a lot of 55 ton inner sphere mech parts that we could be using uh, eventually to put together mechs and stuff. But I would rather try and stay away from that if we can stay completely in the clan uh, line of things. Let's get you up over here, I think. Support this side. On my way. All right, let's get this activated. It's nice having it clear at the start here, but that just means that the units coming up are probably going to be a lot heavier. Which might be a good thing if we can get some good salvage out of them. As long as they don't destroy us, that is. So we've got a Clint 2C, which we do have parts for. That's a Sentinel. Alright, well. Uh, now they probably get protection. So the LRM, LRMs here, we've got standard ammo and incendiary ammo, half ton of each. Um, we've got a heavy rocket launcher 20 and a rocket pack 10 on here as well for some heavy close-in punch. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reserve. Yeah, let's just see what happens. Yeah, let's just see what happens. We've got another sentinel over here. Is that what this is? A thorn. Okay. God, these guys are really slow. Uh-huh. So we're pushed back to what? Below 17? Ooh, what's that? Clint, another Clint. Two Sentinels and two Clints, huh? I'd rather not have my next mech be a Clint 2C. Waiting for orders. Sergeant. Got two spy side pings, eh? Too far away. Too far away, really? What? How is that too far away? Wow, you can't even go anywhere. Oh, this guy's back here probably. It's probably the distance from the beginning to the uh, end. Let's put a sensor lock on you because you've moved already. Oh, he's got an LB-10X. Alright. Yeah, I mean, if, you know, what's this guy? Solitaire? All right. It's almost like this is like a second line clan force. I gotta make sure all five of these guys are cleared, though, before we what get the, uh, to get, um, that convoy out of here. Let's move up. Take Got a pot it. shot at that Clint. Speed, no shooting. This guy's been pretty good with the AC-10, so we're going to give it to him, give him the pot shot. Well, at least it was straight. Get you next time. 
Yeah, you're not killing infantry in the hills over there. Who's next? The thorn? I just trashed thorn parts too. So I've been keeping tallies on all the mech parts that I, I, well, not since the beginning, but since the beginning of this week. So I guess Sunday, so the, with the vehicles. I've been keeping track of the mech and vehicle parts that I've been trashing. Order. I'm interested to see what you guys think about that idea of like, not necessarily having a, um, like another lance on the field or any of that stuff, but at least putting more counters on the board, at least showing that we've got more than just basically four quote unquote companies worth of units. Because you'd have to have more than that based on the amount of units that we've been fighting to survive like on this planet. It wouldn't take much like in reality for the enemy to overrun us. Let's not give that guy anything to see. Ooh, how forceful do I want to be? Not that forceful I don't think. Let's get up over here. We're gonna focus on probably this guy, but let's just see what other chances to hit are. 35 on this guy, huh? Another Clint. Looks like his ballistic is slightly down. I'm gonna leave this off for now, just to keep our heat low until we get close. Wow, okay. Hoping for at least one out of that. These Clint's run super, super hot from what I've been, I've been uh, seeing. Because they don't have a double heat sink kit, so they heat up really fast. Who the hell is this guy, Anthony? All right, let's um, let's go with the incendiary on this guy, cause why not? I'm gonna save the rocket pack so we get a little closer. I think. Plus, it might be nice to know what our next, what the next uh, lance coming up is. Having control of the convoy gives us the ability to get them out in one turn, but then we're still stuck fighting the enemies that drop. So we got to kill these five guys. Have the uh, convoy leave and then take on the remainder when they come. Yes, Commander. And because this is a two skull, I'm hoping the next lance that shows up is actually pretty tough. To position. Okay, so this guy's got an LRM 20 now. He's up five LRMs. Oh, this is the sorry. This is the other guy. The SRM tandems. Right. Oh yeah, and I put a tag barrage on here because why not? Um, let's put it here. No weapon can fire. Maybe I just can't see it? There we go. Oh shoot! What? Oh well. I wasn't watching. There's a waste of ammo. If you guys want to learn how to waste ammo, just watch my gameplay. Definitely help you out on how to waste ammo. Okay, let's get up here on the road. Got a little bit of cover here. Indirect, that's pretty good chances. We got LK ammo on this thing and Hydra ammo. We've only got like one ton of Hydra, so I'm gonna save it, but let's get some LK on this guy. Keep the incendiary rockets for later. Locked on. Yes, Commander. Um, I think you need to be like She's got terrible chances to hit, so I'm going to use her back here. So at least the vehicles can move. She'll she'll monitor the vehicles and just pot shot guys if we get a good chance. Eight points, we'll take it. Waiting on you, Commander. We. Don't need to tell me twice. All right, you can't go too far, but that's fine. You are just trucking around people, so. Here Let's not get too far up ahead. Wow. Wow. I guess it's the, the head and tail of the convoy. We got mine dispensers. We'll wait. Let's not put it right in our way. That would be bad. Waiting for orders. Hi, Rose. Get that cloud buster up here a little bit. Let's shoot this guy. 29%'s not bad. Yeah, we can't hit though. It's fine. Failed to connect. You did. What can 
I do for you? Alright, let's get up here as far as we can go. Well, not as far as we can go. Oh, we got another one with mine dispensers. Alright. Be nice might be nice to get both of those into the um I live to serve. Into the out position. And then have them uh use their mine dispensers on the enemies that arrive. We can save them up that long. So this guy's 30%. Ooh, a lot lower on this guy. What's this guy, I guess? We got tandem in Inferno, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go Inferno on this guy. I still think this mech's got a really bad loadout. We need to really work on it. But I'm really hoping to find get some hev heavier mechs here. Mm, how far can you go? That's not bad. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Enemies out of range, so that's fine. Waiting for orders. Alright, Blade, let's get in here. Every time I hear the word hear the hear Blade, all I hear is the the uh the blood rave track from uh the movie Blade. I was shocked when I found out that that was, um... Want a Hydra, this guy? We've only got six turns of Hydra, but this guy's, like, super warm already. So I think it might be worth it. Yeah, I was shocked to find out that that, that, that track was uh, done by New Order. I was like, what? That's a New Order track? No way! I'm showing my age now. It's like... <laughs> anyway. Good movie, good track. I got so many mixes of that track now, it's like ridiculous. Some of them are so good. The original track I find is a little slow and I've got some of the I've got some more modern remixes of it that are a little faster. It's really nice. It's always nice to see what, what um, some more of the modern DJs can do with older tracks. Because the older tracks, the the people that were doing them, they did a fantastic job, but it's really like limited you know the technology back then was really limited what they could do now today it's like you've got you know just about anything at your disposal and it's all cheap too back then everything was so expensive try and put together a track and it's like cost you so much money you. you had to know somebody with like uh, a studio or whatever to be able to get in to do stuff this Clint's running going turbo Let's take advantage of that. I gotta double, uh, yeah, I'll double up, and that's a pretty good chance to hit. Alright, we got one on him, it's good. Vehicles, yeah, see, he's barely even dropped any heat, that guy. I hear ya. See ya? You betcha. Don't waste it. Waiting on you, Commander. Don't waste the ammo. Uh -huh. Oh, you got medium lasers. Nice. You can shoot though if you got a chance. Yeah, man. Fire away at 23%. Commencing alpha strike. I'm gonna have to man, I have to remember next turn to try that spy sat ping. I don't know if that's like if it pings everything on the board or if it's just a like everything within the green circle here or what it is. It'd be nice if it pinged everything on the board. Used up your entire turn, but pinged everything on the board. Moon walking sentinel. I think he's got an ultra five. That guy. What can I do for you? Oui, le sergent. Vite le. Hmm. Let's not put the minefield over there. You got to go that way still. Although we guess we could drop it down here, but like I said, until I know where the uh, next five are coming from, there's no point wasting it. Because we, we should be able to handle these guys without too much of a problem. If they get ridiculously lucky, we could be in a big big uh, world, world of hurt, but I don't think they will. Don't think they will. So it is slingshot. The incredibly sexy uh, handlebar mustache. I'm getting my goatee pretty long now too. I decided to grow a uh, a uh, not quite a, a barrel a barrel dual long goatee, but it's at a point now where I can put the first little um, 
the first elastic in it and have a little tuft of hair sticking out. So it's got some good length to it now. It's probably the longest I've ever had any hair on my face. Like, my, my facial hair grows ridiculously fast. And when I say ridiculously fast, like when I was a teenager, well, I don't want to say teenager, maybe 21, 22, I could have a beard in two okay. weeks. Like a full thick beard in two weeks. That's how fast my hair, my face on my, the hair on my face would grow. It was ridiculous. All right, let's just hammer this guy. See if we can get this guy to battle this, this turn. Yeah, we still got the striker left. That's good. And the cloud buster. Standing by. All right, Rose. Confirmed. Let's work on getting rid of this guy. Roger. Oh shit, we hit our own guy. That's 70% chance you hit your own guy. What the hell? You're fired! Let's not get behind our guys. I'll take the reduced chance to hit from the uh, stuff in the way here. As long as it's only back armor, kind of okay, because we generally don't run from people. These colors don't run, you know what I'm saying? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, beard. I got a full beard right now. I shaved it off at Christmas time and it's taken me a while to grow back, but it's like pretty thick right now. But the goatee part of it's, it kind of gives the beard this nice kind of angular look, triangular look from the kind of edges downward. I don't think my beard could ever be as sexy as Baradil's though. That guy's got, got a pretty awesome looking beard. Um, yeah, I'm going to push these guys. I'm not going to mess around right here. We're going to push these guys. Five points left in the CT. Well, he's off the battlefield. At least we saved his main arm with all the weapons on it. That's the most important thing. Let's get this other Clint. I don't know how this guy's doing heat-wise. He's still okay. Clint's got a lot of stuff going for it, but let's hammer him here. I'm going to go damage on this guy, because he's not really overheated. We'll throw the rocket pack on and get some more damage in here. All right, a little bit. Got something I'm still not happy with the loadouts I have. I find I'm just... I don't have the weaponry I want. I got a lot of weaponry, but... I think it's just because these mechs are so light, and when I'm playing my other playthrough... Yeah, let's go against this guy. With the, with the Dragon's Rejects, I just have much more versatility because the mechs are a little heavier. Like, we're primary light here with, like, one medium, and then the other one is, like, you know, mostly medium with a couple light and one heavy. So, just a different kind of thought pattern, I guess. We want to go Inferno on this guy? Let's just go standard. We want to use up a rocket pack? I don't think so. We'll save the rocket pack. Save the rocket pack for when things get really hairy. On you, Commander. Yeah, see, now that we've got our... Ooh, I don't like being here. Okay. Now that we've got our, um... The turn out of the way where we got reserve that was... Reserve that was pushing our initiative back. Let's go for the kill and get it. Yeah, this guy's doing really well with the AC. Apparently all their units are inspired. You're dead. They're, they're, uh, I know it's my units, but <laughs> it just looked like it was their units. They're inspired by, Good to go. by my ability to murder their friends. We're up against some pretty good guys. Wow, you can go here, but not there, right? Okay. All right, just brace it up. Waiting on you, Commander. Reduce any incoming damage. On my way. Good thing they don't have any artillery. These these guys would be in trouble. What else we got? Blade. Oh, you haven't gone yet. Okay. Okay, let's not go behind him. Let's get a little farther up this way. I have this sneaky suspicion we'll shoot the mongoose in the back if I don't do this. Because why wouldn't we? Sendery Rockets. This guy's a little warm, but I think he's just looking warm because he's standing in the heat here. We want to heat it. Well, no. I think we go with LK. 
Okay, nice leg hit. Ooh. That's a kill. We killed the Ultra 5, though. Oh, well. So I was thinking about the uh, the pirate AC5 we picked up a couple of episodes ago with the, with the um, Dragon's Rejects. And we do have the pirate incendiary ammo with that. I, I want to put together some kind of build with that thing. I don't know yet what it's going to be yet. It'd be nice to have like pirate AC5 and LRMs with incendiary or, incendiary or hydra ammo and they use it as mech as a guy that can just stand back and shoot. It doesn't have to be all that heavy. Like a Centurion would be great, because we could put a pair of LRMs in the thing. And then, I think it would be just fine. Let's get over here. And we do have Centurion parts, but not a lot. Ooh, only a few hits there. Good to go. I can't? Really? That's bizarre. Whatever. Cloudbuster now? Yes, yep. Commander. I don't know if I want to expose though. There's a solid there it is. This thing's got a fair amount of armor on the front. It's got 735 right. armor. It's pretty good. We'll expose a bit here. Go after this guy. See if we can get some good shots in on him. Gonna crank the machine guns all the way up. Ready for orders. Ooh, that's not bad. Heading out. So I was thinking about running a few polls on the channel too, just to pull people on what they what they want to see. Like, I thought about introducing another unit into this game, but I don't know if it's going to add anything beyond what we already have, you know? I want to make sure we get at least two Dragon Rejects and at least two um, Night Gaunts missions in every week. So that's four episodes a week. And then the vehicles and the Irbies can go once, like, once a week. So that's six, like, that's six um, episodes, right? Um... Let's just fire this. So, I don't know. I don't think... I think introducing another unit would just be a waste. Commander. Even though I already had it set up and was planning on doing it. But I think the more I think about it, it's probably just a waste Back to do to that. Speed. Let's get on this thorn and kill it real fast. Kill it with fire! Target confirmed. Nice. That hit something good. Just a regular LRM, so not a big deal. Let's keep you up here. Drop some LK on this guy's ass. The one thing I did do though with the uh, Kit Fox is I did make sure it had plenty Waiting of ammo. Orders. Like plenty of ammo. So it can shoot for a long period of time, because it is supposed to be a long-range fighter. Oh shit, I meant to use the Psy Spat. Psy Spat. The Spy Moving Sat out. Ping. Got lots of time. I'm sure I'll forget, but we got lots of time. What can I do for you? Um... I don't know, how far over here can you get? Let's get up over here. We'll see if the Solaire... So the solitaire? Solitaire. See if it, it makes a mistake to continue along this way, then we'll come from behind and hopefully crush it. It probably, it most likely will. It looks like it's trying for I'm a flank. You. So it'll make an error and then we'll just kill it. Let's get up over here. We'll do the same thing with this guy. Save a bit of SRM ammo. So this guy was an SRM-10 before, now it's an SRM-12. Slightly better with the clan uh, SRM. Plus it's got the ability to drop the... Uh, for the barrage, that's not bad. Got it. I was really hoping for more out of this mission too. It's getting so iffy with the clan missions, I don't know. Like this is two skull and it's like I was I was hoping for at least four mediums. 
I guess technically the Clint's and the Sentinel are medium, but I don't really count them as medium at 40 tons. I, th I, I always... I always consider a 40 ton mech like a uh, Waiting for orders. a light mech. Alright, get up here. Double time, let's go! Well, we may have to not I'm kill here. these guys and then Order acknowledged. see what happens. Affirmative. Wow, two of them at 70% and you missed them both. Waiting for order. That's just pain. Uh, what am I? Oh yeah, I'm a blue line from here. Okay, we're just gonna fire. Firing yes, eat it. Yeah, I think we can Target. successfully forget about this guy now. We're gonna push to the out point. Commander. I mean, we'll pot shot him, but I'm not interested in chasing him down. Not interested in chasing that guy down. Orders. Onward. Okay, we gotta figure out where we're gonna set everybody up here. Ready to get it on. How much ammo do we have? We got plenty. Let's Move see order. if we can drop some rounds on that guy from back here. Five point eight. Ah, eh, we'll fire, why not? One. Alright, one out of twenty, it's not bad. It's about right. I hear ya. How far can you go? Can you get all the way down to here? Nice. So it's only two I more turns and, and these Move guys are gone. Good to go. Which means we need to hustle our ass back this way. On my way. Yeah, let's forget that guy. I'm not going to bother even shooting my LRMs at him. We'll wait till he pops his head up, then we'll take it off. Ready for orders. I want to be in a position when the convoy, uh, or when the new enemy arrives, or, or we're in a good position to not get flanked from behind. That would be the worst if, like, the uh, Kit Fox was up on the hill there and they just showed up behind him and killed him. All right, what are you up to, buddy? Oh, is that a heavy laser? I'm showing minor damage. 80 is not minor. Uh, it probably is. It's medium heavy laser. Paramedium. He well, why did he do 80 damage? It would have to be like a Improved cooling jacket laser. That's not their large heavy laser. There it is right there. So it's in that other torso. Uh, I think we need to get on this guy then. What can I do for you? Not you. You keep going. Okay, what I'm gonna try and spy you? sat ping here and see what happens. Oh yeah, it does. I got that. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a pretty good distance away to be able I to pick you. that up. What do you think, buddy? Side shot. Pedal to the metal. I can hold off for one turn. I think this guy, I think this guy has to come down now, though. Double shot, rocket pack ten up. Yep, let's hammer him. All weapons are go. Gonna burrow through the side and like kill him. And you're toast. You got that right. Yes, commander. Can we get a good... Can't get a line of sight. Oh, we can from over here. That's nice. I'll good take that. Go. Good range for the hunter, too. Little over medium range, I think. 90s, or 29%, I mean. Leg cluster, that's nice. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, just keep moving forward. Uh huh. Drive right over the Clint, if you have to. He's not going anywhere. I'm receiving you. All right, Rose. Can you get a solid blue line? Oh, you can. Run right there. Eighty percent, say. 
No, not vigilance. I'm gonna go OP. We're gonna take a shot. And we're gonna see if we can pull the guy's leg. All right. No. Nope. It was a CT hit. Let's go for the kill. I gotta get him off the map board. Let's go for the kill. We take him on this side. We should. Yeah, we'll keep the uh, laser. See ya. Oh, he's still going. No, he's not. <laughs> I take it back. All right, let's get. Where do we want to be? Probably as close to the hex as possible. I copy. I'm your spaniel. No sweat. Move order received. All right, we're not going to move out just yet. Uh, where is you? Order. Use was next, and then you. Aye, aye. And then we'll put. This is the guy with the mind dispenser. We'll put you in the trees, too far away. Right there. You betcha. They're going to drop in now. We got some over here, and I got a guy back here. It looks like a sentinel, sentinel back there. Good work, Commander. Hold this position until the package is underway. Toadies. We've got five toady parts. We can put a toad together. Piranha. Stinger. Oh, come on. Sentinel. Commando. T oh, my God. This is a two skull. Feel like I'm getting ripped off. Don't need to tell me twice. Moving out. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Standing by. All right. Well. I feel totally ripped off. Okay, so they technically haven't moved yet. They don't really have the juice, so let's just reserve. Let's let them move and then we'll kill them. Ready for orders. Let's get up here. I'm going. Let's kill these toadies with extreme prejudice here. Put the barrage on in case we miss. Put all these on. Uh, what do we have? We got tandem. We have incendiary SRMs or improved SRMs. Let's go with the tandem. Maybe we some, can ignite some ammo. Uh, I'll leave the barrage off, but we'll fire everything else. Nope. I'm out of SRM. That's all right. These guys can't do anything. Not worried about it. Nice try. Good to go. But this is what I've been up against for the past little while. I've been trying to like pull off missions on the side, like low skull missions. Copy and I thought, oh, I'll just take a two skull this time. It should be no problem. But no. And this should have been full of guys, like, it's two skulls for crying out loud. Targeting for an alpha threat. Yeah. You guys getting the hint? We don't like you. I'm out of short range missiles. That's alright. We good. Good to go. Okay, you the mind dispenser? I hear ya. You are. So let's go ahead, do this. What? Do, oh, I think the mind dispensers have to have a clear line of sight. Yes, that's it. They have to have a clear line of sight. They're not indirect. All are go. Well. All out of short range missiles, Commander. Yeah, you stay right there. 
You stay Wait right there. You, Fucking murder this toady. He's denying us the ability to move around this area over here. These things can take a lot of damage, man. Waiting on you, Commander. Spice that ping. Got it. These guys don't leave to the end of the turn, so let's spice that. Let's spice that ping. Gotta walk. I think we got all of them. Uh, that sentinel's not fast enough to get forward. So let's go after the toadies again. I should have just walked up here, but whatever. Whatever. We give the toadies the rocket launcher. Yeah, because I don't really care what comes off these guys. Nice. Are ya? Let's not engage by yourself, though. That would not be conducive to a good fight. Alright, do we want to... Just shoot this guy? He doesn't have anything important on him. I'm out of SRM. Yeah, it's alright. He's stuck in a minefield, he ain't going anywhere. And even if, even if he does, he's gonna blow his legs off, so... Enjoy it. I wish I could've shot this commando, though. Wish I could've shot the commando. Oh, wait a minute, maybe what we can. can. I, for you? Um. This be good. Ooh! Alright, that works for me. I'll take that. All out of SRM, Commander. Waiting for orders. I'll take that. That was nice. So hopefully that commando blows his legs off trying to get to us. And if he doesn't, well, we can hopefully just shoot his legs off. I don't know what he's got on him, but Commando 2C. Oh, those would be nice. A pair of ER medium lasers too. Armor doesn't look like it's that thick either. All right, Prana. Unfortunately, we don't have any of these mech parts, so it's not like we can make use out of anything, except for the Clint's. I mean, I guess I could take Clint 2C parts, but really, what's the point? That guy's got some speed to him. Alright, not as fast as I thought he was. Commander? Not as fast as I thought he was. You want to chase this piranha down? Do you feel like it? I think we'll let the stinger move by. Oh, stinger's already gone. Oh, he's not. Is he not moving? Guess not. Let's take a pot shot at this guy. Acknowledged. Ooh, nice. That hit something good, Commander. Not really interested in the micro lasers. I mean, if we had a super fast mech with lots of armor that could get real close to the enemy, then maybe. Stacking a bunch of micro lasers might be worth it, but 14 of them, huh? Standing by. Hmm. Now we want to stay on the side. Let's just stay in the trees though, because if this guy decides to attack us, we want to re reduce as much damage as possible. Our vehicles have got half decent armor. I've been trashing anything that doesn't. Yeah, nothing. All the vehicles that have got garbage armor, I've been getting rid of. Because it's really a waste. Unless they've got like long range weapons, there's no point. Like even the, uh, when you look at the Hetzer, it gets targeted quite frequently and almost destroyed in every mission. Just because it's a freaking Hetzer, you know? Can we get... I thought I saw a shot 
up here there is. It's a long range shot though. All right, let's see if we can finish up this piranha, then we can pull everybody else back. We're going fast, let's not give him an opportunity to shoot. I don't think we're going to kill him, but we'll fire it all anyway. A couple of them made it through. Standing by. Want to get as close as we can with these SRMs, I guess. I think, if anything, I would rather replace these SRMs with LRMs. This is not an optimal loadout for this mech either. We need to get a clan double heatsink kit in here. Let's go. Um, yeah, let's go standard, I guess. This guy doesn't have much on him. Okay, he's in steady. It's nice. He goes on 12, so we go. a lot of us go before him. Looks like all our vehicles do too, pretty much. Who's going next? 20? Okay, so it's the Stinger next. He's not going to take much up for his legs. Ooh, 17. That's actually not bad. I st I'm still sticking to my guns and saying the mines are broken. They need to do something about the mines. Receiving you. I don't know how you fix it though. That's no the only problem. thing. I don't know how you would fix it. Short of like, like I said before, having only like one barrage per ton, maybe upping the damage slightly for the mines, narrowing the field so they don't go everywhere. Narrow the field, up the damage, and then it's like one one barrage per ton. So if you miss, you miss and you're done. Right? But if you hit, you know, you have a good chance to do a lot of damage to someone's legs. Alright. Yeah. Come on, bail out, buddy. Bail out. Orders. On my way. I know you don't want to be here. I don't want to be here anymore. Take the other leg off, maybe. I copy. Both legs gone. Beautiful. Target eliminated. At least it's some salvage. God, this is terrible. I may not air this episode. I don't know. I'll probably keep the intro and not air this episode, but we'll see how it goes. Ooh, he did some good damage. He's got three ER mediums, I think. Lots of armor. Yeah. Guy's got three ER mediums. Yes, Commander. All right, Hunter X Hunter, get up here. Affirmative. We got too many guys chasing down an idiot back there. Let's get this guy's. Well, let's not get this guy's attention. We get this guy's attention. Probably not. Legs are taking a good amount of damage, though. I'm here. What do you think, Rose? Can you finish him off for us? Apparently not. <sighs> That's the Kit Fox. Where's the the Cougars back here? Okay. Yeah, he's got the Ultra Five. Just shoot this guy. Nice. Not bad for your first battle uh, with a uh, with a gunnery of three and everything else set of two. <laughs> She's not doing too bad. Not doing too bad at all. All right, who do we want here? I think we want this guy. I want to use the better chance to hit on the commando and go for the legs. I want to soften this guy up, I think. I'm ready. Yeah, are you? I hope so. 
I hope so. Don't know if he's going to move forward or not, but we'll put the barrage in front of him. So if he does, hopefully it'll land slightly in front of him. Commander. Okay, now how good are you? Not bad. Move into here. Acknowledged. You got more armor. Let's still att let's, let's attract the sentinel though. Like I said, I want to pull the legs off that uh, commando. Sentinels don't seem like they don't have a whole lot of armor. So, where did you take your hits? CT. Yeah, let's get you out of here. Move back here for now. We can move our next turn and strike. We'll pull back for now. Those ER mediums do 30 damage. We don't want that to happen. It's nice that they turn the uh, the damage for the clan ERs back up again. I think the uh, they they turn their medium lasers down to 20 damage. I think the clan ERs were at 22 or something like that. But they've changed it around again. I hear you. Put the mediums back to 25 and the clans uh, ERs back to. Um, Oh god, you got the ultra. Let's just get into here. I'm worried about hitting the guy on the ground. Um, and they put the ERs back to 30 damage. Although I think, they, I think they turned the heat up a little bit again. Which is good too. Although they, they did... Uh, changing that... Um, the mag shot, the one ton mag shot, to a half ton mag shot. Ooh, nice damage on his legs, 10 points. To a half ton mag shot, and you need ammo for it now. Which for me is kind of frustrating because I got a mag shot with no ammo now. Alright, you get up here. Point nine. Eighteen. Yeah, those legs are gonna go. Just pot shot this guy. That was a leg hit, beautiful. Okay, that's just too much I think for that guy. Panic level critical, critical, his panic level's critical. Yeah, thank god our machine gun's unjammed, because you know we really, really need that. Okay, so you... Rolling. I think... We do this. 46% is pretty darn good. Oh, I don't know. 18 points. Let's go with Inferno. He's pretty warm. Okay, we didn't get the legs. But we jacked his heat up. So he decides to shoot, we might be able to get that... We might be able to take that... Uh, take both of his legs off really, really easy. 24, 13. Let's go after this one. And we'll fire... Uh, we've got Infernals, right? Yeah. Oh, Incendiaries. Yeah, we're going to fire at this guy's leg. There goes the one leg. Maybe two. We get the other one? No, we got one. We should be able to pull the other one without a problem. Orders. All right, he nailed you pretty good. How about you just get over there and take him out with a medium laser? Just blow on him. Don't blow him up. Just spit on that leg. That's all you gotta do. Going here. I'm only gonna use one. Fire. Yes. Mech destroyed. I don't know if he lost everything because of that or not though. Yes, Commander. Oh shit, we're in the barrage. But if we kill this guy with this attack, then we don't take the barrage. Let's get him. Target 
That was close. I think I hit something good. Who do we have left? Waiting on you, Commander. Shit, not not gonna be able to see him. Got it. Max speed. Well, that's alright, I guess. Commander. We got an LRM ten. What if we don't if we don't move it's probably the best chance to hit. Alright, we got one. Standing by. Yeah, you're not gonna get anything, so let's just sprint up here. Moving at full throttle. Got our LRM twenty left, right? Oh he's going now. What's he doing? Do we have is Marlin still have to go yet? I think so. Yeah, when Nigo's got like really low skills. Gunnery three, two and everything else. At least we'll be able to turn them up after this. This guy's still pretty intact too. He's using the SRM too, huh? Yes, Commander. Come on, kill him. Uh, I don't think we can. Don't be wrong. Couple of hits. No hits. Well, it was worth it. It was worth the shot. It was worth the shot, I think. They will be done. Get up to here. Thirty percent, huh? Cobra strikes. Aye, aye. Hmm. Where was that solid blue line? There was a solid blue here somewhere. Oh, from back here. I'll take it. We got ER mediums, so... Come on, buddy. Oh yeah. Not enough to take the leg though. That's interesting. Oh he bailed. Perfect. Mission successful. Alright, so we were able to evacuate the uh, civilians, which is great. We got some XP for our pilots. So let's see what we can get out of the salvage here. And then I think we'll jump into another mission real quick. I'm gonna do it go ahead and take the Clint 2 C parts. Much as I don't really care for them. It is a clan mech. We'll see what we can get out of it. You know, we might get something half decent. Large heavy laser. Yes, please. That's going to change some shiz around. Now we could go with an LB-10X as well. It is a heavy weapon. This is, you know what, we need double heat sinks. If we're going to take that, we're going to need double heat sinks. Or an exchanger or something along that line if we can find one. Clan XL engine. I might take that. For, I'm going to drop it in here for now just for the sea bills, but I don't know. We've got enough for the end of the month, but I just want to make sure. We've got regular double heat sinks. Here's a couple of clans. I think we take those two. Is there an exchanger down here anywhere? Don't think so. Barrow, endo, armor, AMS, no exchangers. Okay. I think that's actually not that bad. I mean, I could just... Are we going to field this thing? Probably not. So if we leave it out and hope we get a couple of those in the draw, it might be nice to pick up a clan ER. Um, you know what? Let's go down. God, this medium heavy is nice too, but we, I don't know. The heat is just unmanageable with what we have right now. We just don't have the heat sinking to be able to, to drop that. I'm going to grab this for the sea bills. Because out of all of our playthroughs, this one has got the least amount of Argo upgrades. So I need to get that going. And try to get it on parity with the rest of the uh, the rest of the playthroughs. But I think we need these three if we're going to field this. So let's take this. Alright, we've got two Commando 2C parts, Frana parts, Sentinel part, Solitaire parts, two of them, Stinger, Thorn part. We got the medium heavy. 
Regular medium laser, we got seven, so that can go away. Streak two, uh, I'm gonna sell it because it's a good chunk of coin. Now the regular endo, we don't have regular, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna check and see. I think we have clan endo, but I can't remember for sure. The 140 core can go, this can go, this can go. Uh, that can go, that can go. Clan Pharaoh, we've got two. Let's drop it. I have to minimize my, um, we'll keep this guy. We've got one. Let's keep this though. SLDF sensors. I don't think they're any better than the clan sensors. So hold on, but I'll check them out and get rid of that. All right, so after saving those civilians, we grabbed a hold of that one mech pilot that uh, had bailed from his cockpit, took him as a bondsman, and he told us of a of, the, of a uh, clan forward operational base that he'd taken one of the facilities here. So we're going to move forward and clear them out of this base real quick. Hopefully we can find some good mech parts. We decided to repaint our mechs uh, just so that we have the uh, optimal camouflage for this particular mission. You know how I like my super pink camouflage sometimes? Well, we need it for this one, that's for sure. So we're going to move up on these guys. Loadouts still remain the same. Obviously, I haven't changed because we're just moving on to the last mission. So we've got a mislinks here, I think. Uh, I have no idea what the hell this guy is. Incubus. This is a mislinks, right? Yep. And then we've got a vehicle over here. I don't know what we're going to be up against, but see how it goes. Let's just go with... Uh, let's just go standard for now. He was doing the running man. I don't know why he was doing the running man, but... I guess he figures he's cooler than us. Which he's probably right. He probably is a lot cooler than we are, but... I don't know if I could actually do the running man in the Griffin 2C. Yes, Commander. I thought I actually want to try, no but... You know. Might be interesting. Alright, we definitely want parts out of this, so we have to be very careful. Don't give a crap over the Incubus. Don't mind blowing this guy up. Uh, he's staying cool. Let's go standard ammo. Just fire on him. Alright, we've got the barrage on him. That's nice. Hopefully he doesn't run up to us. Alright, we've got another mongoose. Yes, Commander. So this is actually a one and a half skull. One and a half skull recovery, just in case you're wondering what it is. Just gonna drop some on this guy. I want to wait till we have a better chance to hit. Ready to get it on. And then I want to go on these other guys. That's fine right there. Maximum speed. I did try to put a uh, a loadout for that um, large heavy laser into the Griffin. Just can't do it. The heat is just too much. I tried it with the large heavy and just two LRM fives. And still, it, I, I couldn't sink all the heat. I dropped the three heat, uh, three extra heat sinks into it, and pulled out the tag so I could get you know lower the weight a bit, and it still didn't matter. Still didn't matter. Oh, the one tiny thing that we did adjust though is the um, the Cougar had a, a couple of slots available. You, it still has one slot left. I have a bolt-on incendiary 5 that was kicking around, so I dropped it in. So if we can find something else to drop in there as well, I'll definitely be keeping my eyes open for that. I'll just buy it in the store, unless it's like a targeting computer or something. I, I don't want to be bothered. Uh, mm. Yeah, I, I don't want to be bothered um, spending uh, C-bills on... Like, or or spending a uh, selection on like a uh, rocket pack or something. Good to go. I'll just buy it in the store. Affirmative. I'm finding they're very very common now. When you jump to a planet, they they're very very common to find rocket packs. Oh, one of the SRMs hit. I'm shocked at that. Two LRMs. Go. For a newbie, you're pretty good. I'm here. I'll take it. 
I want to eventually switch all these out for clan vehicles, but Affirmative. I can only go with what we have, unfortunately. And I'm finding a fair number of planets where you can actually buy vehicles too, which is kind of cool. The um, the cost of them isn't that bad. Like for for an average vehicle, it's like between one and three million. So if you start off, if you're just starting off and you take maximum um, C bills to start, and let's say you took merchant as your background, you'd start off with about six and a half million C bills for the start and then another three and a half like about three and a half million for the merchant class gives you about 10 million sea bills to start with you could find like you could jump to a few planets and find a really nice heavy vehicle for like eight million to start the game off if you want to if you were starting off in vehicles that is i wouldn't recommend it if you're starting off with max it's kind of a waste of money but if you're doing a vehicle playthrough it might be a cool way to get a good heavy vehicle to start Yeah, the more I look at the options for the playthroughs, the more possibilities there are. It's just ridiculous, the number of possibilities now for Rogue Tech. You know, you could do the pirate start and then take a uh, random pirate mech as your, uh, you know, for your background. Start off with a pretty cool pirate mech to start too, like, you know what I mean? So you'd have your regular lance What's up, boss? that you start with and then a pirate mech, like a, a relatively advanced pirate mech would be kind of cool. Alright, uh, let's go here. Acknowledged. Still not the best on that guy. Uh, I think we need to move in even more, so let's just blast this guy and get him out of here if we can. Incubus can go. I don't. Well, I know it's got components on it, but I'm not going to risk Waiting for orders. having a mech drop or losing something just to pick up some components on off move. one of these idiots. It's funny too because the last few times that I've done playthroughs, I've stayed away from like rocket packs because I'm like, eh, they're useless. But you know, now they're actually. You know, er, in early game with lighter max, they're really viable. They give you a nice heavy punch. You can get in close enough with them. Hit. The fact that you can get like two bolt-on rocket packs on your mech. So for a lighter mech, you could probably get a pair of 15s or a 15 and a 10 as bolt-ons. And then, you know, get like a couple of bolt-on or a regular uh, like one ton or one and a half ton rocket pack 10 or, or I think it's... I think the 10 is, is it half a ton? I can't, or it's one ton, I think, I can't remember. But you can get a 10 and a 15 put on the mech, or a couple 20s put on the mech, and just shred people, you know? I want this guy gone, I think. Commander. Yeah, we'll find our stride with this Griffin. I'm still... Like, thinking about loadouts for it all the time, like, I don't know what I'll do with it. It's weird, it's not an Omni-Mech, so I've, I've got limited hard points. I've got two laser points in each arm and two missile points in each torso, and some, a couple of, uh, what do you call it, um, support hard points. Engaging so, I don't really have, this guy's a stick now, I don't really have, like, amazing options. It's either I go laser and have to sink a lot of heat, or I go missile, and I hear ya. lack a lot of punch, or I have to get close because I'm SRM, you know? On my way. It's a very weird kind of layout. Time to die. Yeah, see ya. Bang! You're dead. You got that right! Alright, now we're looking for legs. Overheating, legs. Whatever we can get. We, so I want mech parts. I'll take another miss links if I can get it. Mongoose not so excited about, but miss links if we can get it, sure. I'd swap out I would swap out, I think, this mongoose for another miss links. Go with a pair of miss links instead. Just take all the layout load up from that, put it in the miss links. 
Just because of the way it looks. That's, that's the only reason. <laughs> the only reason. It's because of the way it looks. All right, let's, let's move. move up, guys. Just move up. I need you to do some legging. On the move, full speed. Mortar spent of it. Let's just drop some shiz on this guy. Yeah, nothing. Reporting negative damage. Nothing. Who's left? The Svan bit? I guess so. The Svan though, and then we got our, our, our hunter left. Hunter X Hunter. Badger. I wonder what this has got on it. Worst case scenario, maybe we can make these guys bail. Get the Badger parts. Finally have a clan vehicle. Now uh, you got more fours or sixes? Light damage, Commander. Orders. Fours, I think. On my way. Double time. That's a lot of ballistics, so maybe not. I think he's probably got a lot of machine guns. Ooh, a little bit of damage. Any heat? I don't think so. I think this is all considered fire, though, so these guys should be warm and toasty here. We got a fair number of incendiaries. We got a couple of incendiary rocket packs. A pair of LRMs and some SRMs with incendiaries. Yeah, he's trying to cool off. Let's not let them. I want the mislink, so let's focus on him first. Straight up. Uh, I want the tag on. Gonna go this route. How warm is he? He's not warm at all, see? But I don't want to apply too much damage to him. Like, if we knock him over, great, but... He's got so little armor, if I apply too much damage to him... He absorbed all that heat, too. If I apply too much damage to him, we're just going to blow him up. Maybe if we overwhelm him with rockets. Like... Uh, I got a feeling I'm going to kill him. Let's see what happens. How's that heat? How's that heat treating you? I'm out of short-range missiles. Okay, we'll probably be able to knock this guy over. What can I do for you? You got incendiary fives. Let's get up to where you can get a shot at this guy. Half decent shot. There we go. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. It's gonna be tricky to pull this guy down. I was really hoping for more out of this mission, but we'll get what we can get out of it. No sweat. Not enough to knock down. Nope. At least his AC-10 is unjammed. Uh, better not be your turn. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Oh well. Streak ammo explosion. Where did you blow up? His arm. Okay. Okay. Lost three weapons, but got something you want done? Just his arm. You got incendiary rockets. Let's go up here. We'll hold on to the incendiaries. On the move. Full speed. So he took an injury. Can we get a knockdown on this guy? That's the question. Let's do this. I was going to shoot one of these guys, but I think we're going to... Because he sprinted. He's, like, unstable. We should be able to knock him over. So there's another py pilot injury. Okay. A little damage to the leg. Good to go. Let's get you down... Oh, come on, Mouse. It's not the time to mess up on me. It's been such a long time since you've messed up on me, and now you're, like, going crazy? Come on. Alright. Don't blow him up.
Let's get lucky. Shit, that was torso. And that's the way we do it. Is that the way you do it? It's not how I do it. Fucker. Whatever. We all did our job except for you, you bastard. <laughs> he does you know what it is? He doesn't want to pilot a mislinks. He's like, I got so much experience in the mongoose now. I don't want to pilot the mislinks. You kidding me? What's up, Fox? Nobody asked me if I wanted to be a pilot of Miss Lynx, for Christ's sake. Let's see if we can get this badger to bail out. Just pot shot him. Panicking, okay. He should have enough to take a couple of large laser hits, probably. Oh yeah, he's got chunky, lots, lots chunky armor. I would probably, if we took, if we got this vehicle, unless it's three flamers on it. If it's three medium lasers, great, but if it's three flamers, no. But I mean, I would probably re replace our hunter with that thing. Just because it's a clan vehicle, I have to do it out of principle, you know. And I can't take the strength of it because it's a mortar vehicle. Although you can mix and match vehicle parts too. Oh yeah, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this. I figured this out the other day. I'm sure you guys probably already know, but if you have a vehicle like this Cloudbuster, let's say, and you put it in storage, All right. you can scrap it in storage and it will ask you if you want to scrap it and sell it for sea bills or scrap it for parts. Order. In which case you keep an X, X amount of parts on of the thing, right? Uh, let's just go right here. You'll keep X amount of parts. And then if you have a different version of that vehicle that you like better in your storage, you can assemble that version using the parts that you just disassembled from the vehicle you already have. Which I think is pretty cool. You got tandems. You don't have anything that's going to go out. I'm not. Uh, don't shoot that guy. Shoot something that we don't want, like this guy. I'm going to warm us up, but we might get him. Here we go. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Let's hope they drop some more About units in after this. Missiles. But this, I mean, this episode's already long enough, so let's hope not. Just finish these guys up real quick. Let's just heat this guy up. Tags on. A little bit of toast. Ready for orders. You've got bolt-on incendiary rockets. Pretty good chance to hit. Let's just park right here. This guy knows we could kill him at any time. That's the thing. Why well, I'm shocked he's not bailing out yet. I don't have. Oh, I got hydro ammo. <laughs> oh yeah. I can interest you in some melting armor. I'm out of SRM. That's all right. That guy's going to be staying toasty till the end of the next year. Running's not going to get you anywhere. Waiting on you, Commander. It is not going to get you anywhere. All right, let's finish this up. Affirmative. Oh, you're sc you're afraid because you got hit by some missiles, but then you get hit by an AC-10 and you're not afraid anymore? The hell? Oops. How does that work? I can see there, but not when I'm on this little crest. Okay, whatever. That's all right. Don't hit our own guy. Just shoot this guy. Bail out. Yeah. Stand and buy. Double time. Let's go. Yeah. Cause I'm feeling lucky. Let's go for that leg. Acknowledge. Yeah. Feeling lucky doesn't mean I am lucky. No love on that strike. Yeah, I can tell. All right. Standing by. That's all right. On the move. Firing full 
Come on, just bail out. You know you want to. You're sitting in fire. You're going to take damage when you move. And you'll probably drive through this fire. Oh, close. Oh, they're micro lasers. All right, forget it then. All right, that thing's no good. Standing by. Hey, Steve Rogers, where are you going? You're running from Hydra. That's right. I'm on the I'm ready. He might be giants. Shoot him in the side, not the back. I think less chance of blowing him up this way. Let's just keep heating him up. Come on, just give it up, buddy. Give it up! I've only got a handful of LRM, so we'll shoot him in the back. Yep, give it up. Give it up. Not Good gonna job. give it up. It's never gonna give it up. You guys knew that was coming, right? <laughs> never gonna give it up. We're gonna heat it up. Yeah, might as well. I copy. Nice. One more for the trash heap. Excellent. Let's see what Smokey the Bear over here is going to do. Smokey the Mongoose. Sure. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, there goes two SRM6s. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. What can I do for you? I'm so tempted just to murder this guy with the double AC-10 right now. I just, I, I'm so tempted just to blow his ass up. Going turbo. God, we lost both of them. I put both SRM-6s in the arm thinking that it would way better chance to hit and we get some good use out of them. Roger that. Firing on target. I don't know where that hit. Receiving you. <sighs> Torso, of course it did. It's a little too splashy for my liking. Report. Well, at least he bailed out. I'm receiving you. All right, what happened? The asset is in hand. Alright, uh, there it is, folks. See, and if you want to know why I usually don't fuck around... That was a huge... I should have just killed that guy. Why I normally don't just fuck around and try and pull legs and stuff off people. And, and you, you wonder why I blow shit up all over the place. That's the reason why. That's totally the re I just lost two clan SRM6s that I can't replace. That's the reason why I do it. That guy would have been dead a long time ago if I had just gone after him. Not mad at it. I'm just mad. That's just awful. We could go with the Streak 4s though, I guess. They weigh more. <sighs> but we don't have the variety of ammo. That's the th other thing, right? Ah, oh, man. Clan Double Heat Sinks. We should take... I guess we could take the three of them. Uh, the lower arm, we, we've got one, so we can replace the one that we lost. And then, streak ammo, it's a waste. Well, we've got an LRM-10, I mean... Yeah, there's like nothing here. There's nothing here. Alright, well... I'm going with these. And then we'll see what else we get. Alright, we got the Badger part, Incubus part, two Mongoose parts, Sventobit part, we don't need the medium laser. I'll hold on to the streak. I don't think I'll use it, but actually, if we didn't get any ammo, there's no point. We can sell that. We can sell that. Beagle probe, I think we've already got. Yep, we can get rid of that. I'll hand on the clan, clan. Well, we'll sell the Clan Pharaoh. That can go. Jump jets can go, that can go, that can go, that can go, that can go. We got streak ammo, so yeah, we'll hang on to this.
We might use it. Maybe streak four. I don't know. I don't know. Have no idea. This gives them gives us some variance for the for the Griffin too, depending on what we want, what we want to do with it. Uh, I mean, we could go PPC LRM ten on the Griffin and then use the LRM fives and the streak four on the Mislinks. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Well, I guess depending on how the dragons rejects do in the north, we may just uh, shift our attention south. The the clan invasion in this area was very minor, so we may just shift our attention south and go and uh, uh, go after the clan zone and see if we can just clean them out of there. That might be a good idea to do. Uh, but we'll see how the um, dragons rejects do up north. Well, northeast, I guess. They're not very far away from us. If they need help, we can kind of wheel over there and help them out. But I think they'll pretty much finish off the enemy relatively quickly. I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with these mechs, get some repairs done, and then uh, when we come back next time, we'll uh, have a better idea what we're going to be doing then, all right? So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.